Hey guys, Mike here. So here's a long-awaited update on my little water-cooled air conditioning project, which I have going on at the moment. I have the system filled with water, and I'm just testing the pump now. Um, everything's good so far. Um, you know, this isn't the first time I filled the system. I've already filled it twice before, but I had two leaks, which I had to address. One, two of them were back here. One was on this hose, which I basically had to clean off that copper fitting more and then put the clamps back on. And the second one was, there was a union here which was leaking and no matter what I did, you know, Teflon, whatever, it still would leak, so I just straight coupled it. At the moment I have two more. This union is, it's wet, it's not a steady drip, but it might be a concern. This here had one drip, but this is going to have to be turned on that more. I'm going to have to screw that on more, so I'm going to have to pop off this little bottom diaphragm here and just screw that water regulating valve on a bit more um i i think this hose is okay but i'm thinking that maybe i should get a um either a hose that can handle a higher pressure or i will run um copper down and over so i don't have a long hose run like i do here and that's something that i want to do as you can see just seeing the pump it's working here uh, I need to get two pressure gauges that um, read a higher pressure because I maxed them out but I really didn't want to run the system but at a higher enough um, a high pressure but I have to otherwise this regulating valve won't open enough for the water so this is a little circulator pump it moves 25 gallons per minute I know that's a lot for a system this small which probably only requires two but I wanted to make sure that um the system gets a sufficient enough of water flow through the condenser there. In fact, this pump is definitely not doing its full capacity right now because um, the motor is getting a little warm. Yeah, the motor, see the motor is getting warm because the pump isn't allowing, the this regulating valve isn't allowing the full capacity. And that's because there still isn't any refrigerant in the system and the compressor is not running. When the compressor runs, the the high side is coupled to that little thing here so it's going to open this valve more to disperse the heat out of the condenser so that's that's why but I'm just testing the pump now but it is moving a lot more water than it was last time but it seems to be okay so far it's just getting a little warm because it's uh the system isn't running but I wanted to make sure that the pump runs um so here's our condenser we have a pump right here comes in, I know this piping is a little small but I, I you know it's just what I could, the only thing I could do at the moment. Of course, you know, I could redo all of it, but it'd be a lot of work. I'd have to take this regulating valve off, and i just have to rework all this shit. But for now, it should be okay. You know, it's moving, it's already moving a good amount of water. But again, once this regulating valve opens up more with the refrigerant pressure, this pump should move a lot more water through here. So it should be okay. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I bought a strainer just in case. Um... So let's just go through this. The pump is here. It's pumping our water in here through our condenser. It's coming out. It's going up. Comes in here. Where is there's another pressure gauge and an air vent. So I can release air out of the system when I'm filling up the system. Comes in the top of our condenser coil. So this acts like a dry cooler. It's going to take the heat out of the condenser water and through a fan and disperse it out. So that's how the um, condenser is going to be cool. It's a water-cooled condenser, but instead of a cooling tower, this is this is going to be like a cooling tower. So the the condenser water is going to come in the top of the coil. It's going to go through and it's going to get cooled and it's going to come out the bottom through this hose and it's going to go back to the pump. So that's how I have it set up so far. This gauge is reading a lower pressure, and I think that's due there's a lower pressure on the other side of this regulating valve. Um, just because, again, that valve isn't, isn't opened up 100% or whatever, so that's why. Um, the next thing I want to do is, um, you know, I'll do whatever I have to do with this. I have to get a vacuum pump because I'm going to put a vacuum on the refrigerant system. But really, before I do that, I need to address the condenser water side first, which so far I'm about 80% there. Everything is working the way it's supposed to, and, um... We're getting there. We're getting there, you know. So, you know, there'll be another update video. I'm going to address the leaks. I'm going to see about reworking this or 
extending a copper line over so to eliminate this long of a hose run which I don't like and maybe I could fit that strainer on too while I'm at it I also have to strengthen up this whole cabinet I have to run some other pieces of wood across so it's not so flimsy and then eventually I'm going to put it on another board get rid of those wheels and put better wheels on and then of course I have to do my electrical and the electrical is all last I'm not worrying about that till last that's like the last thing on this and so is the ducting with the fan. That's that's coming a long. That's a long way down the road. I'm just addressing things step by step. So uh, so far so good. And I'm gonna shut this pump off before it gets too hot. Um, I just put the camera down right here real quick. And yeah. All right. So sorry, sorry, sorry. So yeah, guys, that's uh. That's it, the pump was doing its little thing. It's just getting a little warm because, uh, you know, this, this valve isn't opening the full way, so it, it has a little strain on it, that's all, because it's not able to pump the volume it's supposed to. Um, if you guys think I should put a smaller pump on the system, you know, maybe I should, maybe, you know, this really doesn't need to be on here, but I'd like to hear your opinions. Please, any opinions about this system, if there's anything I could do to make it better, if there's anything you see wrong, I would really love to know, you know, your input is great as help as well, just to improve the system. So, thanks for watching, guys, I hope you liked the video, and comment away, Mike out.